Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about incremental refresh in Power BI service. So let's get started. Now what is incremental refresh in Power BI service? So Power BI supports incremental refresh, which is a feature that enables you to refresh only a subset of your data in Power BI, rather than refreshing the entire data sets. This can be useful when dealing with large data sets as it helps reduce the time and resource needed for refresh operations. So basically, this is just a definition about incremental refresh. Now, if I want to explain you in a very simple term what incremental refresh is, incremental refresh is basically refreshing your data with the latest data that is updated in your data sets or a database. So if I want to give you an example, I have a database which is which is having a data of five years. Now, in this database, what happens is every day or every week, a new data is entered into that database. I want to refresh my Power BI dashboard. And if I do a scheduled refresh, the entire data set of five years will get refreshed. And it will be a time consuming thing because it takes a lot of time to refresh the entire database or a data set of five years. So to avoid this, what we can do is we can set up an incremental refresh and using this incremental refresh, what this incremental refresh will do is it will refresh your dashboard with the latest data. So this is the work of incremental refresh in Power BI. Okay. Now, before we do that, let's remember a few points while configuring this incremental refresh. The very first thing is we need to have a pro or a premium per user license to set up this incremental refresh. Incremental refresh mostly works very good with the structure or a relational data source like SQL Server, SQL Database or Azure Synapse. The most important point in incremental refresh is defining your parameters. So if you define your parameters, then you will be able to refresh your data with the latest date. So you can define a couple of parameters. You can define single parameter, whatever you want. You can do it as per your requirement. Incremental refresh also works best when you have query folding. And by using additional custom query functions, incremental refresh can work with other data source provided filters based in a single query. So which means I can set up incremental refresh if I am using some other data source as well, provided I have given filters to it. Okay, so let's go to the Power BI and see how we can set up this incremental refresh. So I am in Power BI service and now let's go to the transform data to set incremental refresh. Now we are into transform data, we are into the Power Query editor. Now you can see I have almost 14 tables that are connected to this particular report. Now where to configure this incremental refresh? In my case, I will go to the fact internet cells and configure the incremental refresh with fact internet cells. Reason for that is the fact internet cell is having five years of data. I will configure my incremental refresh with fact internet cell. Okay. So to do so, what I'll do is first I will set a parameter. Now to set a parameter, I will have to find a date. Okay, I'll set a date parameter first because I want the data to be refreshed after a particular date. Okay, so I will take this as an order date now. Okay, so what we will do is I will just go to manage parameters and click on new parameter. Now I'll just uh, rename this as start date. Okay, I will take this type as date. I'll take this as any value for now. Let's take the value as, okay. I'll take this value. I will click on, okay. So you can see I have a start date parameter. Again, I'll go here. I will create new parameter. I'll take this as an end date. Again, I'll take this as a date parameter, any value. And let's take this as 31, 12, 
2020. Okay, I'll just click on okay. So now you can see I have two parameters that has been created. I want that my data to be refreshed between these dates. Okay. Now let us go to the fact internet sales. So now let's go to the order date and uh, assign this parameters. So let's go to the order date. Let's click on the uh, filter option. Let's take this as date filters and between is after or equal to my parameter that is your start date and is before or equal to can I take this as a parameter and take this as end date. Okay, so if I click on OK, what will happen is the data will be filtered basis this start date and end date. Now, if you see this table is empty. Why this table is empty? Because the date that I have provided 1 1 2020 and 1 1 for 31st 12 2020 do not contain any data. Okay, so what we will have to do is we will have to change our start date and end date parameters. So let's go there, clear all filter and let's see from when we have a data. So we have a data from, let's take 2011. Okay, so we'll take a data from 2011. So I'll go here, I'll go to the manage parameters, edit my parameter. Instead of 20, 20, I'll take 2011, click on OK, I'll go here, I'll edit my parameter instead of, let's take this as 2011, click on OK. OK, let's go back to the fact internet cell, let's go to the order date, let's select our date filter between is equal to let's take a parameter your start date let's take a parameter which says end date and click on ok now let us see whether we get the details or not uh yes if you can see we have a detail starting from 1 1 2011 and it will go till whenever the data is available in 2011 okay so this is the very first step to set a parameter let's go close and apply now what will happen here is the fact internet sales table will do an incremental refresh between these particular dates only. So as I said, I have five years of data. I have already done a schedule refresh. Schedule refresh contains the entire data set. But I want my report to be refreshed between these two dates only. Okay, so that is the reason we are setting up the incremental refresh. So let this get loaded. Now you see, once we have set the parameter, the report has been changed drastically. Now we will have to set up incremental refresh. Now, as you all are aware, and as I've informed you in the very beginning of this video, that incremental refresh works when you are using a premium license. Now, if I try to set up the incremental refresh here, it won't allow me to do that. Why? Because I am not using a premium license. I am using a free version of Power BI service. So I am not able to, you know, set up this incremental refresh. But just to give you an idea, what we will have to do next is just select the table that we want to set an incremental refresh and just click on set imports and refresh range. So when you set this import and refresh range on, it will ask you for the start range and end range. If your data gets updated weekly, so your data for one week will be refreshed after the last refresh was done. Okay, so this is how an incremental refresh work. Okay, so yes, that's all about in today's video. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.